It's the most expensive tool in the Navy's arsenal, but the USS Gerald R. Ford has been faced with a ton of trouble. $13 billion carrier is still not ready for deployment, but crews are working hard to try and fix all of that. 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier went aboard the ship to see what work remains. The noise is indescribable and the power is overwhelming. But just like the horizon out here, the sea must support the sky. Welcome to USS Gerald R. Ford. And over the next month, the crew will be out here working on aircraft compatibility testing. And what's happened over the last few days is uh, the very first ever arrestment or landing. Commander Mehdi Akasim says four different aircrafts made successful landings. And, and that's the payoff of a ton of hard work. Uh, by the engineering team, by the test squadron. But the work continues as the crew gathers data from each flight. And there's tons of, uh, of analysis that, uh, that essentially give us the settings we have to program into the system. Rear Admiral Jim Downey says recent scrutiny of the ship's brain power is misplaced. People want to ask, well, is it really getting too complex to operate the system? The sailors are pretty amazing today. You know, they pick up on these systems very quickly. But pressure about a time frame to get the aircraft carrier fully operational is something commanding officer J.J. Cummings says won't inhibit their focus. The job of leadership on the ship to ensure that they are focused on not listening to all the noise right, that's right. being made and focus on the signal of getting the ship ready to go. In the coming months, crews have goals inside the ship too. So if we had a medical emergency or somebody needed to be medevaced off the ship, we could move them from the main deck up to the flight deck. And the elevators also work to move weapons to the flight deck to arm the aircraft before it's launched. Lieutenant Sonny Alexander says they're in the testing process now. We run these things uh, 10 times a day. My guys are getting trained on it, on how to operate them, and, and, it, and it works great. But each test just means progress. And we'll make modifications along the way as needed. But the modifications made thus far have been good. We'll get the ship ready for deployment when the time, when the time is, it comes for us to go on deployment. I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Network.